everybody just log in a little bit okay all right so this this is my thing okay so I watched um uh, the podcast with um anyway so my fans are sliding my dm like Tiff watched the live I see you know I'm on Instagram stalking per usual and I see T.S. Madison shit going live too. So I'm like, okay. So then everybody like, they have a podcast. So I'm like, oh, okay, so this is going to be interesting. Cool. So they slide to my DM and like, you know, they on there talking about it now. So I watched the butt end of it. And then I went back and watched the entire thing. Um... Where do I where do I even begin? First of all, Ra, I don't even know you. Let's start there. Um, and you don't know me. And all of this stuff, your loyalty, definitely, I totally understand that it should be. You you were supposed to say everything that you said. Whatever. Brooke, me and you are cool. And you ain't never known me to be in no messy shit for no reason or anything like that. And I understand at the end of the day that that's your friend and you going to ride with your friend. I totally understand that. But that's totally f***ed up and not cool to just discount, it, dis discount or discredit whatever I'm saying because that is you guys' friend. It's like, what do I have to gain to talk about? Like, what am I going to get from this? You're right. We're, we're living in a day... Where, okay, I talk about it. And even with this, with this conversation, even with this, this is going to die out in two days. My mixtape don't even come out until uh, October 26th. So if I really wanted to capitalize off that moment of me going on T.S. Madison's show, I would have hurry up and dropped the mixtape. Oh, all of this. No. It's just that I'm sick of it. I'm sick of Onika. Okay? I have no reason to make this shit up about this girl um, when it was a situation where she, where they flat out was paying all the bills over there at BT, BT, period, where I was supposed to be nominated, and I'm not about to fuck up nobody's situation and get them in trouble, but the shit did get back to me, and it kept getting back to me several times that, no, she can't in particularly stop a bag. I'm not going to say that, but Nikki has done a lot of blocking. In this industry, it is very political. It's, it ain't about money and all of that type shit for real, for real. It's not, if, if, if it was about money and just getting out, oh, you could just pay and be rich and then you could just be successful. It's not that. It's the politics that be in this shit. So when Nikki is reigning and everybody got their head up her ass, they're going to do what she wants them to do. So I was just privileged of the fact that, oh, my God, I'm nominated. Oh, my God, I'm so happy. I already knew old girl was going to win. I already knew. I was cool with that. I was just cool with being nominated. It's like, that's fine. But that bitch knew that that was going to give me some notoriety. She knew that that was going to give me an awareness. She knew that that was going to be genius that everybody is now paying me some type of attention. Nikki know exactly who I am. Totally. And it just, it just irritates me to see people saying that, oh, it's just this hate Nikki train. Everybody is not lying on this girl. I understand that that is you guys' friend. Totally understand it. And Brooke, you could have called me. I don't think you said nothing disrespectful. But I do feel like, you know, me and you could have discussed this because we are cool. I don't even know the raw girl. Whatever. My thing is, ain't nobody just on this hate Nikki train to try to... Well, I'm not. I don't give a fuck what nobody else talking about. I'm talking about a real situation that happened with me. 
Period. So, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what else y'all want me to say. I really don't. Because, I guess Remy Lyon, I guess Cardi Lyon, I've never seen her embrace nobody. I seen her do the little fake political support, liking pictures or, you know, reposting stuff to act like, you know, and play the game. I do see that. But I have not seen in the eight, nine years of your reign that you've embraced another female. I have not seen it. I have not. You could throw Foxy Brown on whatever the hell you want. You don't feel like Foxy no fucking threat. Period. So you can knock it off. And all that shit with how you even did Kim, that's that's y'all business. I'm not even I'm nobody's motherfucking pawn. The same way you guys it, Nikki and that's y'all friend, I totally respect that. And my loyalty is with Kim. But I have my own personal offense that was with Nikki. Me and Kim ain't link up on, we don't even talk about this girl at all. Honestly, on my grandmother's soul, we do not talk about this girl. This is on my own personal offense. She copies every thing. And even, I've been cool with Brooke for years. We're not besties or no shit, but we respect each other, like each other's pictures, call each other bad bitches when we see each other is love. All of that shit. When I posted Brooke for my WCW a few years back, the next week Nikki posts her, and then I guess that's when they started their friendship. Or what? I'm not sure what happened, the chain of events after that. It's just like, oh my God. I posted and all of a sudden she posted her. It just be different little things that since I'm on a, I didn't have the platform that Nikki had. Everybody is going to ride that wave of team Nikki because she appealed to the masses and she had everybody awareness. But just because maybe at the time I had two followers don't mean that she did not know me. Don't mean that she wasn't copying my swag, my flow, my style, all that shit. And it started to annoy me that when my was like, oh, you trying to sound like Nikki. I've always had personality in my flow, in my lyrics. Always. Back when I was with June 5th. Back when I was signed to Deborah. Deborah Anthony, Walker's mama, who also used to manage Nikki. I've been like that. But then when I'm doing it, but since she made it first... Did it seem like, oh, now I'm mimicking her? It's like, are we serious? It's been a lot of shit that has just irritated the fuck out of me that I didn't talk about because I'm, anybody that know me know I'm a spiritual person and I'm going to get my shit regardless. I'm great. But at the end of the day, it's like, okay, enough is enough. Everybody is tired. Let's say a thousand people saying the same shit about Nikki. 500 of them, if 500 is lying, 500 telling the truth, something is going on. Period. So, that is what I had to say. Just mighty funny that when I'm wearing a little short yellowish wig on the war zone video on the tricycle. Then I guess that's Barbie Tings where she come with the wig, but she mixed it in when I had the spider cords all over my outfit. Then she puts it on hers with the wig. I'm not just making it. This shit is being sent to me. I don't go look for this shit. So, I don't know. And this is going to be the last time I address this shit because I don't need to um, go on T.S. Madison to talk or use that platform to discuss. I'm going to talk about whatever the fuck I want to talk about, whether it's on T.S. Madison show, whether it's on The Breakfast Club, 
whether it's on my live, wherever it's at, it's just because now I am annoyed. And I understand that people is going to ride with their friends and all of that shit, but I'm not jumping on that because that's what everybody is saying. That's because that I have my own personal me where I feel away about some things. And she can act like she don't see what the fuck is going on all day. But if I'm sitting up here talking about how you don't ever embrace girls, you want to act like you are always with this old female empowerment and ladies and girls. Stop it. Why don't you fix your own shit? You going to get up here now. You want to get cash down and Asian down to talk on Queen Radio. Why don't you fix your own shit? Why don't you fix the shit with you and Cardi? You got your own shit you need to fix. Why don't you go fix the shit with you and Remy? Why don't you do that? Fix that. I bet she go get a whole bunch of bitches and start, and start trying to at least act like she want to work with them or team up and do something with them and all that. She ain't never did that. I don't care if she shout girls out or like pictures or any of that. She has never embraced a girl like Kim has embraced me. Kim has embraced Dream Dow. Kim has embraced a lot of females that I embrace. Like, truly try to have a friendship with. Nikki whole career was built off of trying to discredit Kim. Because she know that her fans don't understand what Kim has done for the culture. She knows that. 